Today we celebrate Saint Jerome Emilian, confessor. Saint Jerome was of a noble family, Venetian family, the Emiliani family, who left everything and became the father of many orphans and of the poor. He founded the Order of Somasca for the education of children and died a victim of the plague in 1537. The fact that St. Jerome Emilian was a father to many orphans is also the prayer that we uh, said in this collect. It is important today that we focus our attention on the Holy Gospel of this Mass. The Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 19, 13, 21. The first uh, teaching is about the little children. Let the little children come to me, says our Lord. Do not impede them to come to me. And then there is the second part of this Gospel, which is the account of a young man who came uh, to see Jesus. And uh, he wanted especially to ask one important question for his life. The way he addressed our Lord is very significant. He said, Good Master, what sh shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus replied in a very surprising way. He does not immediately respond to that point, but he says, why do you call me good? Only one is good, God. We can easily say, then Jesus is now, it seems so, is denying his divinity. He wants, does he want to say that he is not God? and that that young man has to be exclusively referred to God alone. But uh, let us follow this teaching of our Lord, which is very significant. And we can understand why Jesus said this way, only God is good. If you want to inherit life everlasting, you have to keep the commandments, God's commandments. And this young man said, yes, Lord, I did so since my young age. And then again, what is wanting to me yet in order to inherit eternal life? And now we have the very key teaching of Jesus in this go gospel. And this is a teaching that Jesus uh, gives especially in order to make this important point to follow him leaving everything behind selling all goods for the sake of Jesus for the sake of the gospel is the most important thing is the most perfect vocation is the most perfect choice so this is the teaching if you want to be perfect go sell what thou hast and give to the poor then, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. Jesus is inviting this young man to follow him, to become, we should now say, a religious, to live in poverty, in chastity, and in obedience. But also the very conclusion of this gospel is important to take into account in order to answer that suspicion that people might have. Jesus is, is Jesus denying his divinity in talking with this young man? No, not at all. Jesus, in fact, concludes his teaching by saying, sell everything, come and follow me. Follow me, Jesus of Nazareth, if you want to be perfect. Keep the commandments, the com God's commandments, but if you want to be even more perfect, become a religious. Then come and follow. He, he must have said now, 
Come and follow God. No? Come and follow me. Because I am the model of this perfection. Because I'm true God and true man. As true man, I am the mediator between man and God. Only in me, through me, you can come to God. Because I am the perfect mediator between God and man. The Son of God, God as the Father, and true man. So my dear brethren, in this teaching, as we uh, contemplate the necessity of, for everyone, of leaving anything behind in order to follow wholeheartedly Jesus, let us also pray for new vocations to religious life. Let us pray for young men and women to follow Jesus in this unique path of perfection, which is higher than any other possible vocation, because it is the way Jesus himself lived. It is the way our Blessed Mother Mary lived, uh, being poor, being obedient, being chaste for the love of God, in order to be completely configured to Jesus Christ, our dear Savior. In this way, we become, as St. Jerome, Emilian fathers to many people, to many orphans, to the poor, to all souls in need of salvation. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen.